Welcome to Twisted Liquid RC Boats. This episode of Twisted Liquid RC Boats is proudly brought to you by Slycat Racing. For all your RC boat needs, Slycat Racing. Good day, everybody, and welcome back to Twisted Liquid RC Boats. I know it's been quite a while since I've done a video and said hello to all ye guys. And I took a little hiatus from YouTube just because it's been a busy personal life the last few months. But being Good Friday, March 29th, 2024, I figured I'd show ye guys what a hazy fog looks like off of ice on the pond. When this old man tells you that he's having withdrawals from pulling his finger on a trigger on a radio and running a gas RC boat, I am. But hopefully in another few weeks, we'll be able to get some boats out and on the water and start having some fun again. All I can say to you guys down in the USA where it's warm and down where there's good weather, welcome to the Great White North. Anyways, guys, let's get into today's video. Let's see what we're going to do in 2024 here on Twisted Liquid RC Boats. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Twisted Liquid RC Boats. After a little hiatus like I talked about in my introduction, we're back on the channel again, and we're planning to have a great 2024 season with you guys and get another build series started on the channel. As you guys can see on the table, we have a new wooden boat kit to work on this season. And we also have some parts collected up for our blue and white cracker box, and our list is getting smaller. So, I figured I'd take the time today and show you guys and unbox a new boat that we're going to build here on the channel because it seems like all you guys really like to see these wooden boat kits getting put together. The first box I'm going to leave because it's a little bit of a surprise and it's parts for this boat also. And I've had this open because I wanted to make sure there was no damage to the kit when I received it in shipping. So guys, I'd like to introduce you to the next build that we're going to do here on the channel. And right here, in this box, we have ourselves a Zip Kits A-Box Cracker Box. And this kit was supplied to us from Sly Cat Racing in Ontario, Canada. Guys, if you notice at the introduction, I included Sly Cat's logo for you guys to see. If any of you guys are interested in any RC boat accessories, parts, kits, or engines that you may need, I highly suggest you give Slycat Racing in Ontario a quick message via the internet, introduce yourself, and do some business. The owner of the company, Bob Sylvester, is an excellent guy to deal with. I can't recommend him highly enough. He is great and he will supply you any of your RC boat needs that you may have. Guys, here we have our new A-Box Cracker Box kit. This is a full laser cut wooden kit, just like the Zip Kits SLR missile was. And we're going to take the time to get some fresh MDF, get ourselves a jig made, set it up so that we can take this and build it over the next few months. Also included, when we picked up this kit, we decided to get some extra parts for it to make it easier to build it down the road going forward. We decided to grab a nice 3 inch 90 degree header from Slycat. We got an exhaust flange to fit a Sonoa engine. We picked up a nice 7014 3 blade prop made out of 7075 aluminum. We have a nice Slycat racing exhaust with a one inch internal stinger. We picked up an exhaust tip, cosmetic exhaust tip for the transom of the boat. 
an exhaust clip, and a coil relocation bracket kit to fit a Zenoa also. Guys, all the parts you see on the table, like I've said before, are available from Sly Cat Racing in Ontario, Canada. If anyone's not used to their website, take the time, give them a look. I think you'll be highly, highly surprised at the quality and the quantity of parts they have and what's available in Canada to be purchased. We are going to take our time and build this boat and hopefully over the next few months we'll see a second wooden boat kit built here on the channel. This will be a great boat to run alongside our zip kits SLR missile also. So guys, this is the wooden boat kit that you're going to see going together soon here on Twisted Liquid RC Boats. Okay guys, up next on the work table is our blue and white Enforcer Cracker Box. I'll give you an update on where we're to with this hull and the best way I can do it is tell you what we have left to get to finish it as compared to the parts we do not have for it. Right at the moment we are left with getting six pieces to finish this boat. We need to pick ourselves up in a set of enforcer engine mounts. We need an enforcer clutch with a collet. We need a Banzai throttle cable. We need to pick up a Banzai CZ drive because the transom of the boat is already drilled for that drive. We need to get a battery for our radio box and we need to pick up two rubber boots for the rudder linkage on our boat. So once we pick up those six parts going forward in the future we're going to take the time and build this boat completely in a build series on the channel and let you guys see it be completely assembled. You can be guaranteed for sure you should see a maiden voyage of this boat this season coming up soon. Okay guys next up on the table is a little sneak peek of two hulls I have here in my collection that I'm planning on doing some more work with this season. I'm not going to say that we're going to get these boats on the water but you can definitely look forward to seeing more work done with them coming up here on the channel and I'm slowly going to take my time and gather up some parts for them. Right here we have a 50 inch Banzai hull. Deep V boat I picked this up off Banzai Sports a few years back and I've been sitting on it. It was an all yellow boat when I got it and I decided to make it a two-tone boat and I done the bottom of the hull in white. I still have a little bit of body work to finish on this and this boat needs a complete rigging. There is nothing done on the inside of it whatsoever. It needs a stuffing tube, it needs engine mounts, it needs everything. So. Just a little sneak peek for you of what's coming. We do have a build series with this 50 inch Banzai here that we have coming up on the channel. Okay guys, before I leave you today, the last hull I want to show you that you can look forward to seeing here on the channel is this Pro Boat Hypersport 48. This is a hull that I got from a very good friend of mine, Mr. Brandon Pike. And when I received the boat from Brandon, the entire bow of the hull was destroyed from some type of sudden head-on impact that this hull took. Instead of seeing this boat condemned and destroyed and thrown in the garbage, I took the time to rebuild the complete bow of the boat and then reshape it to get it back to what it was when it was original. The reason I'm attached to this hull, guys, and I'm doing all this work on it to rebuild it is because my very first RC gas boat I ever owned was a Pro Boat Hypersport 48. I bought it brand new at a local hobby shop and I ran it for two full seasons before I sold it. And it started my passion and my love of this gas RC boat hobby. So when Brandon gave me the chance to rebuild this boat, I gladly took it on and went forward with doing it. Guys, before I leave you today, I'd like to give you all a huge thank you. I cannot thank all of you enough for your continued support of this channel. Everybody who's liked, commented, subscribed, watched, or shared a video, I have 
great gratitude for your support of Twisted Liquid RC Boats, and I'd like you to know I greatly, greatly appreciate it. As you guys can see, I got a few plans for 2024, and I'm planning on having the best season I ever had in the gas RC boat hobby. So you guys got a lot more to look forward to coming up on the channel, and you can expect to see lots of run footage as soon as the ponds are all thawed out and unfrozen here where I live. So, in closing, as you can notice, we got a bit of work ahead of us, and we're going to have a lot of fun here. I want everyone out there to have a really good day. I want you all to take care of yourselves, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Feel free to like and subscribe. Take care and stay safe.